In this example, we'll compare two loans, one for $200,000, one for $180,000, over the same length of time at the same interest rate. So we'll see what happens when you change the principal and how that affects the amount of interest that you pay over the life of the loan in each case. So we have two loans. The first one will be for $200,000. The second one will be for $180,000, both of them at 4% for 30 years. The first thing to do is to calculate the payment amount in each one, and we'll skip this since we did it in the last example, and you can see other examples that we calculate that payment, but for sake of time, we'll skip that, and I'll just say the payment for the first one works out to $954.83. The payment for the second one works out to $859.35. So again, once we know the monthly payment amount, we can find the total amount paid over the course of 30 years by multiplying first by 12 to get the yearly amount, and then by 30 to get the total amount that we pay over the course of 30 years. So in the first example, the total you pay is $343,738.80. The second example, the total paid is $309,000. $366. So we can already see, again, the difference between these two, but we're going to use the interest paid to compare them. So once we know the total amount that we paid in each case, we can subtract the principal to figure out the interest that we paid. So in the first loan, the principal was $200,000, so we'll subtract that. On the second loan, the principal was $180,000. So we'll subtract that there. So by borrowing less money, not only do you save on the amount of principal you pay back, you actually also save on the interest. There's a difference of about $14,000 in interest in addition to the $20,000 difference in the loans. So by borrowing less at the beginning, there's less interest that will be added on over time. So you can save in both ways.